Welcome to Show the Dead. Welcome to Show the Dead. I'm Tim. And behind me, over there, is Luna. Today's episode, we're going to be doing some, uh, candle magic. Well, I'm going to explain some candle magic and then show how I dress candles. If anybody has any suggestions of different ways that I should do this or attempt to do this, uh, leave a comment and let me know. Uh, let's get started. So, first, a little bit about candle magic. Candles, the colors, have different associations with different things. Like, red is for love, green is for money, things like that. Now, everything you can use it for, you can do the opposite with it. So say, use green to attract money. You can also use green to take away money from other people, cause them to lose money. Now I should mention, all of this is theory. There is no science behind it. Along with everything else on this channel, there is no actual scientific evidence. There is no actual science behind it. It's all just theories. So that after you pick out what you want to do, and then a color, which you can just Google if you can't figure out what one you want to use, but you don't actually even need to have a color associated with it. It's mostly just to help you focus. Good rule of thumb, black and white can replace everything. Um, most of the books and stuff, the videos and stuff I've seen and read, uh, white is usually used to push your intention out. Black is usually used to pull your intention in. So that's the basics of choosing your candles. Now for actual candle magic, you take your candle, you'd light it, and then you'd focus your intention. You just hold on to the thought of what you want, how it make you feel, and you try to make yourself believe that you've actually already achieved it. Then when you can no longer hold in that thought, you blow out the candle. That's all there is to it. It's one of the simplest forms that people do. So. Now I'm going to show you how to dress a candle. So, you need some oils, which we're going to be doing necromancy stuff, so got some necromancy oils here. This one from papashadow.com. This one is uh, Belladonna's Botanicals, which it actually smells really good. And then we got Graveyard Dirt. Now, depending on what you're doing, like, if you're doing, like, love or something, you take a love oil, and you'd use, like, crushed up rose petals or something, some, a plant or a thing that's associated with whatever you're trying to do. Now, there's a few different ways that I've seen people explaining to dress the candle. Now, they say to put your intention out there, you start at the bottom, and you slide that oil forward. And they say to draw in something, you slide backwards. But the best that I've come across with, because this covers both, you go from the middle, you go to the top, and you go back to the middle, and you go to the bottom. So that way, you're pushing your intention out, and you're pulling it in. So that's what I'm going to do. So, just get some oil up on it. Just 
course it's not landing on it. There we go. Get your oil on it. Just smear it all over. While you're doing it, you want to think of your intention. Which, my intention is obviously going to be spirit communication. And then you take it, and you plop it in the dirt, and you just smear it around. So that one possibly didn't show up too well on the camera. It's in a weird position. We'll do it another one. Normally, you would let these sit for a few days and keep meditating your intention over top of them. But, it's Halloween today. Shortly after this, I'm going to be doing a ritual to the Nama. See if we can get some spirit communication going. Uh, normally, you, all three of them doesn't fit in there. You close it up. And just every day, come back, meditate on it as long as you can. And then when you feel that they're ready, you just light them up. Do your candle magic. That's all there is to it. next week and show you how I make the graveyard dirt ritualized for necromancy so I guess that's all for now on the next episode I'm gonna show you how I prep my graveyard dirt Will they descend into madness, or will they show the dead?